Today, we are so excited because we are interviewing a debut author in the Tiny Owl family, Hazel Terry, whose new book, Rock and Roll, is coming out so soon. As a debut author, could you tell us a bit about yourself? Where do you live? What are your hobbies? We want the Hazel Terry scoop. Okay, Hazel Terry lives in Kirkcaldy, which is a little town north of Edinburgh, and I work a lot in lots of different ways. I work with children, I work as a decorator, I work as an artist, as an illustrator, so I'm all over the place trying to jigsaw puzzle everything together. And um, my hobbies, because I'm quite close to the beach, every morning I go out and I beach clean. So I pick up everybody's litter and rubbish. And I also sometimes pick up a little bit of treasure as a treat if I find something and it could be anything. It can be a squid, it can be, uh, today it was a sheep's tooth, all sorts of things. So, <laughs> so that's what I do. Um, I've got chickens and I've got a crazy, crazy dog and I've got a cat and I've got some crazy children and a crazy man. And yeah, and I, I also do a lot of plants I grow tons of plants all the time and the garden is an absolute jungle even though it's utterly tiny as a reaction to people having too much astroturf and gravel basically <laughs> so the more astroturf and gravel there is the more crazy my garden gets i think i will disappear into it soon <laughs> you will not be able to see my house anymore <laughs> could you tell us a bit more about how you got into writing and illustrating I think it's because I've always made up funny stories to try and explain things to my children or other children. And I've always sort of had this like, how would I explain that to a child? And so that's kind of how it's evolved, is just constantly making up funny stories to explain stuff. So illustrating and writing, I trained as an artist all my life, basically. I started when I was at school when I just carried on and the writing has come as a way of sort of it's working into children's book system and that's been a, a later thing because I trained originally in ceramics and textiles and then I became a painter and then the illustration I left my work six years ago and trained to become a children's illustrator so that had evolved due to um, the Art Room Plant blog, which I started 12 years ago. And it became quite clear quite early on that it was children's illustration that I was obsessed with. And so that's, that's how it all evolved, really. Where did the concept for rock and roll come from? Um, my daughter was laughing at me because I've got some fossils here, actually. I, I do collect a lot of fossils. And um, I was feeling sorry for them. And my daughter's 16 and, and laughs at me all the time. She's like, why are you feeling sorry for fossils? And <laughs> the thing is, I mean, this one's particularly sparkly. This one's from Chesil Beach and it's got this shell is full of sort of stardust because we are all made of stardust, different sort of natural elements. And uh, I felt sorry for the fossils because they're trapped in rock for so long and I felt that they couldn't be reincarnated and I know that's a really weird idea but that was what it was all about so it's just all these elements that are sort of stuck in rock through time um, particularly if it is a creature I mean obviously a lot of footprints are um, footprints fossils are footprints and things like that but if it's a wee creature that's got trapped in the rock or in amber or whatever it's like how does that reincarnate? It must take ages. <laughs> so that's what it was about, really. What were the ideas behind the story? That's, there were so many different ideas. It was about the passage of time and how time works differently for a rock or a tree to a human being or an insect or whatever. That whole thing about how lives are different lengths and, yeah, time. Then there was a, a thing about vanity, which is a 
I think a big problem in modern society with um, Instagram, social media and different things and how we present ourselves. So there's a lot to do with vanity and how that's not necessarily a good thing and how it's better to sort of look out on the world. And also about owning things and how people gather things together and hoard things and how that makes them feel more important. And there's, 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 there's things about talking about other people in it. There's, there's so many, it's such a simple wee story, but there's so many different things in it. But the big message I felt was um, it's about sharing things and not keeping them all to yourself.